I just finished building the 2 kilowatt two-wheel drive e-bike that I mentioned in my last video. Since the last video, I added tape to the battery to help it be more water resistant. I also added more foam to the battery mounts to help it hold the battery better. I then made a body out of sheet metal. The body slips over the bottom of the frame and is held on by one bolt at the top. With the addition of off-road tires, I think it looks pretty good. I added a torque arm on the rear and custom front wheel mounts so I never have to worry about the axle spinning. Both motors are wired to the same throttle, but the brake switches are only wired to the motor that they brake, so when you hit the brake it only kills the power to the motor that the brake is braking. Sounds kinda complicated, but it really isn't. The controllers also have a cruise function, which I wired up to that button. Now I'll take you guys on a quick ride with the bike. Excuse the audio quality, it's probably horrible. Since I didn't really have a motovlog set up, I had to rig one. But, it should be fine. The bike really had more power than I expected when I made it, considering you're just supposed to have one of these motors. So, it is pretty quick. Something's still grinding on my front brakes when I brake hard. But it's really like just enough power to be fun. I'll do a quick drive in front of the school. There's a jump over here I used to hit all the time on my normal bike. It's pretty steep, so I don't know how this will go. Yeah, just right there. Because this basically is... Extra weight means there's like no suspension in the front. And of course it's a hard tail, so there's already no suspension in the back. But, let's see how it'll go. That was pretty good. I don't think I got the rear wheel off, but the front lifted up a bit. The main problems with this bike are the suspension, like I just showed up there. Even that little jump, it already is like super hard, even with these better tires. Another thing is the throttle. The throttle's like... really unresponsive, and at low speeds it really limits the power. Just like that, it really takes a second for the power to kick in. And that means it's not good at all for wheelies. It already really isn't set up for wheelies because, well, when you're wheeling, you only have half the power because it's all wheel drive, but you can still give it a try. Gotta hold the front brake a tiny bit so it turns off the front motor. And then just give it a little kick and it should lift right up. <laughs> Like I said, it's not really made for wheelies, but that's not really what I made it for. Ankle feels a bit bad after that, but it'll be fine. There's a hill climb over here I'm going to go try. I tried it a couple times before, but not with these new tires. They should really help. Alright, here it is. It's decently steep, but there's a good amount of run up, so I should be able to make it fine. Alright, here goes. Oh, almost looped at the top. Now here's the real test. This is about 40 degrees, so I'm gonna have to get a big run up. Well, actually, let me just try it. Yep, not quite. All right, here goes. Oh, got way more air there, dang. All right, here's a quick acceleration test.
All right, here's another jump. Nothing crazy. And I'm not talking about this one right here. I wouldn't even hit that on my normal pedal bike. Need like a full suspension nice bike to hit that. All right, full acceleration, let's hit it. Oh! Man, I don't know why I'm jumping this everywhere. It's definitely not made for it. I guess while I'm hitting jumps, I might as well hit this one. Oh man! Okay, that one definitely jumps. I'm probably gonna snap the front fork in half if I hit it faster, so I'm gonna stop there. All right, here's a bit of a track. Do not trust these tires to lean it over too far. Oh shoot, <laughs> I got a little sketchy. It's really a weird experience when the front wheel starts spinning. It's, no, it's like nothing I've ever experienced on like a dirt bike or anything. Oh yeah, the cemetery just got paved here. It used to be gravel and I used to rip that scooter I made around all through it. But now it's like a track. Yeah, I think I can make a track out of this. All right, here it goes. Yeah, this turn, it like feels good going full speed, and then right here, you have to lean it super far. I do not want to hit a headstone, that would be bad. <laughs> oh, back wheel cutting off. They're breaking loose, not cutting off, what am I saying? I gotta try knee drag on this corner, I'd probably die. This is definitely not the right tires for street like this. One thing about this bike is that it's a, I think a 27 inch, like the frame is for 27 inch wheels and these are 26s. So if you're turning pretty sharp, you can hit the pedal on the ground and that is not good because it'll make you like bounce and like almost make you crash. If I can do it here, I don't know. I don't really want to do it these these cranks have been through a lot. I don't want to torture them anymore. Should I try another wheelie? Last one didn't go so good. Yeah, it's just not enough power. Or I'm just not good. Honestly, I think this is a pretty fun build just for ripping around on. But it really needs suspension and better controllers. If I had those, it would really be the best. I'm thinking about building like a bomber e-bike, like three kilowatts at least, and that'll have a better controller and suspension. It should be a lot funner. Yeah, because I don't even want to go off a curb, and that's like the lightest suspension work. Oh, we got a construction zone. That looks like a good test. Oh, that looks super muddy. <laughs> well, might as well give it a shot. Oh, no, it's not bad at all. All right, straight up this pile of mud. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> I thought I'd just plow straight into it. Oh no, here's the mud. <laughs> no problem. That two-wheel drive kicking in. Oh. 
I think I might have to stop here. Yeah. How's she looking? No, not even that bad. No, not quite fast enough. <laughs> All right, waterproof test. No, I don't think so. Let's see, this is pretty steep. I'll give it a good shot. From a standstill, no pedaling. I think it'll do fine. Yeah, it's doing fine. All right, now how about the gravel hill climb? No problem. All right, now a bit of sand hill action. Easy. Well, I'd say that was a pretty successful ride. The bike and I are only slightly injured, so call it a win. There's a challenge right there. Okay, that's that's a bit much, but yeah, whatever. We'll try it. Yeah, that's a bit too steep. <laughs> That would be hard even on a dirt bike. That's like super steep. Okay, I think I might know one more cool spot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Man, this frame. I'm sorry, frame. Here's what I was talking about. Oh man, that's muddy. <laughs> I just did. I just started sliding like crazy. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a cool little bank turn here. This is a lot where I was sliding the three-wheeled go-kart like four years ago and I tore a quarter size hole in my knee when I rolled it. If you watched last video. Okay. <laughs> Getting all that mud on it and then full throttle on a slope is not a good idea. Yeah, it just spins like crazy. <laughs> Let me just bomb it through this mud. Oh. <laughs> Front wheel losing a bit of traction there. That's pretty dang steep. Oh, that's what I was talking about with the pedal. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Actually, one last thing. Because it's the fifth year anniversary of the first video on this channel, and my last two videos have done pretty good, I'd like to say thank you for everyone who's watched over the years.